Hey guys, it's John and we're gonna do some math for fun today. So here is the question. So what we're gonna dive into is this idea. So what is the probability that two randomly selected people have birthdays exactly one day apart? And we're gonna solve it a couple of different ways. So let's think about uh, the first method. So I'm gonna start with the uh, more kind of rigorous approach. Let's call this the sort of mathy approach. So really thinking about some sort of combinatoric stuff. Now, the easiest way to approach this is let's fix the birthday of one of these people. So the first thing we have to answer is how many different arrangements are there for uh, a single person's birthday? Well, there's 365 days, presumably, in a year, and we wanna choose one of those. So the number of combinations for possible days is gonna be 365 choose one. <clears throat> then we have to answer the question, what is their respective probability of having their birthday on some given day? Well, that probability is just one day out of 365, so that is one out of 365. Now for the second person. So, so far we fixed one person's birthday. For the second person, if we think about this intuitively, well, you could either have a birthday the day after or the day before. Any combination or any sort of arrangement we make, it'll always be either the day before or the day after. So there's two possibilities. So that means we have our choice of two out of 365 possible days. So 365 choose one happens to be 365. 365 times one over 365 is one, and one times two over 365 is two over 365. Now let's back up for a second here. Another way we could have approached this is really keeping the entire first part the same. But for the second part, we could say that the second person has a birthday on a given day. So that would be one out of 365. But there's two possibilities. Like we said, the day before and the day after. That would be to choose one. Two possibilities, we're choosing one of them, which gives us the exact same result. But another way to sort of break it down and think about it. The second approach is gonna be sort of thinking about this intuitively and seeing that just reasoning through the problem, we can come up with the exact same answer. And it's gonna be based very much in the same logic. It's really gonna kind of repeat what we've already said. The intuition here is that for any day that I pick throughout the year, the second person could have a birthday either the day before or the day after. So that means no matter what, there are only two options because one person has to be fixed. So that directly gives us the answer two out of 365. And actually any number of days apart that we pick will always give us the same answer two out of 365. If I ask the question, what is the probability that any two given people have a birthday that's exactly one year apart, it would still be two out of 365 because they could either be the year before or the year after. There's always two. So this is kind of a nice short little example to give a little bit of insight into how we can use concepts of probability and some reasoning along the way in order to answer some sort of interesting questions. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, what topics or what questions you'd like me to acknowledge in the future. Awesome. Thank you guys, and I will see you soon.